Today we're going to bust all the myths surrounding all the different drawables in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. I've seen some of the best players making mistakes when they compared grenades with smoke grenades. The truth is that they roll or bounce differently, meaning that you will have to use a different drawing technique for each and every single drawable in Battlegrounds. We will also check out how unreliable smoke grenades are, I will show you how to become a sneaky bastard once again and I will give you some tips and tricks on how you can efficiently use them to win your next chicken dinner. I was very impressed to see how much work the developers put in to change the behavior of all throwables because most of them have entirely different characteristics. This became clear to me when I went to the shooting range. The main view that you see now is you, you will be throwing the grenade. I use the third person mode because it's just easier to show what's going on. In the top right corner you will see the side view from the right side. Pay close attention to this, because here you're going to see what happens when your grenade hits the ground. Every throwable has a built in timer. This allows us to cook a grenade so that we can instantly kill or blind our enemy. After exactly 5 seconds your item will detonate. So it makes sense to make sure that this is the exact moment that it lands at your enemy's feet. This is the easy part, and you probably knew this already if you watched one of the first tips and tricks videos. The tricky part is knowing how to throw your item, because they all bounce or roll differently. Let's start with the most lethal one, our beloved frag grenade. As you know it's relatively round, and this is also the behavior that you may expect when it hits the ground. Basically it's a heavy round ball so it will bounce a little bit and then it will roll like any other ball. It rolls relatively far as you can see here. In order to make the perfect throw you will have to make sure that your grenade hits the ground a few meters before your enemy. So never aim at his feet because he won't be able to cause any damage that way. The grenade will just blow up behind your enemy and that's it. When we compare this with the smoke grenades then you're going to see a very different picture. A smoke grenade isn't round. Basically it's a cylinder. In other words just like in real life it will bounce differently. When it hits the ground it will bounce up a lot more compared to the normal grenade. This means that it loses a lot of its forward speed or momentum. Then it will bounce some more, until it comes to a rest at a distance much closer to the point where it hit the ground. Let's say that you wanted to detonate at Buddy's feet. Then you will have to make sure that you aim much closer to Buddy compared to a frag grenade because it just won't roll that far. The flashbang behaves in a very similar manner as a smoke grenade, but it bounces a lot more, so it does not roll as much as a smoke grenade. So use the same basic technique as a smoke grenade, but aim slightly closer to your enemy. Just make sure that it comes to a rest slightly before your enemy's feet for maximum effect. A Molotov cocktail is completely different. You're throwing a bottle, and like most bottles, it will shatter immediately when it hits the ground. In the beginning, I thought that you had to aim at your enemy's feet in order to kill him, but that's not true. I threw about 10 Molotov cocktails at this person's feet and none of them caused any damage. The area of effect of a Molotov cocktail in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds lies in front of the impact zone. So never aim at your enemy's feet, but aim at a point slightly behind him so that he will end up standing in the middle of the effective zone. Having said that, they aren't very consistent. Sometimes when you hit a person with a bottle then the person will suffer damage, but sometimes he or she won't suffer any damage. For me a flashbang is the most unreliable throwable in PUBG. Sorry, that's not true, let me rephrase that. It is the most avoidable item in PUBG. It is very reliable because it will always detonate. The problem is that you don't know if your enemy managed to avoid it or not. So far I have never been successfully flashbanged in all of these months that I played Battlegrounds because all they have to do is to look the other way. That is also the reason why I will never carry them in my loadout because you just can't rely on it to be effective. If you found a more successful way to use them then please let me know in the comments. Smoke grenades are pretty unreliable as well. Sometimes they will release their smoke cloud in the street itself, causing almost no visual effect whatsoever. Having said that, most of the time they still do what they're supposed to do. It just looks different for you compared to what your enemy might see. On many occasions person A can clearly see person B, but person B cannot see person A. Your chances are better if you keep your distance behind the smoke cloud, but be careful, because you might think that you are cover, but that's not necessarily true for everybody's point of view. Things will get even worse if you decide to stand in your own smoke cloud. You can be completely blinded, while your enemy has a perfect clear shot on you, so avoid this at all costs. All I want to say is that you should use these smoke grenades with caution, because not everything is what it seems. You can mitigate some of the negative effects by deploying multiple smoke grenades in a small area. This will improve your odds of actually blocking your enemy's view. Sometimes the normal grenades can be extremely unreliable as well. I haven't experienced this myself, but about 2 weeks ago I was watching Summit1G on Twitch. 
He was cooking his grenade, aimed at the top window of a building and then the grenade hit the wall right in front of him. He was lucky enough to get out of there in time because he almost killed himself even though he didn't do anything wrong. I don't have any rights to use this footage, so I recorded what happened to him myself so that I could show you this. But I had to aim down myself so that the grenade ended up hitting the wall. Just to be clear, he aimed at the top window, released the grenade and strangely enough it ended up hitting the wall right in front of him. The only way to avoid this is not to fully cook your grenade so that you still have some time to get out of there in case something unexpected should happen. There is one thing that you should try out if you haven't done this already and that is to try and throw a grenade through one of those windows of a concrete shack. The first time that I tried it I missed because I aimed at the middle of the window and the same thing will probably happen to you because the grenade does not follow the red indicator perfectly. You will have to aim slightly lower if you're standing this close to the shack. The best thing to do is to aim at the bottom of the window. It is by far the easiest way to clear it from camping enemies without exposing yourself. There is a way to fool your enemy with these troubles, but it all depends on the situation. You could call this psychological warfare at its best, if you can convince your enemy that your harmless smoke grenade is a proper grenade instead. People don't expect you to throw a smoke grenade when there are only two guys left alive. You would expect a normal grenade to be coming your way, right? And you can take advantage of that. But once again, you will have to become a sneaky bastard. Throw your very dangerous smoke grenade when you're rushing at him. Don't throw it too close to him because then he might be able to see what it is. So throw it slightly further than usual but still close enough for him to think that it can cause damage. The poor guy is going to hit the floor looking for cover, thinking that it's a proper grenade. And then he sees the smoke. He realizes that he's been fooled, tries to get up in time and then the inevitable will happen. Another chicken dinner thanks to those very little smoke grenades. If only we could see the look in his face then this video would be getting more than a million views. I'm pretty sure that if you were to throw a smoke grenade into a shack that the guy would run out thinking it's a proper grenade. Just try it out for yourself and let me know how it went. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.